I'm Kines, and I'm going to give a tiny snippet of what's to come. We wish you well. So, for people who know you personally, your name is Carrie. Yes. But as an artist, what is your stage name? I go by Kines. Kines. Okay, so where does that name come from? Well, my name is Carrie Denise Williams, mm -hmm. so I took the first and middle name and put them together. So, what do you think? Like, is one big misconception people have of you, like, as an artist? I think as an artist, one misconception I get a lot is you are this genre, that genre. I don't really put myself, I guess I would say I'm a pop artist, but putting myself in a genre, there's so many different genres I would love to try and explore. So, if anything, I just don't want to stick to only one type of music. I want to try to experiment with as much as possible. Okay, cool. So do you feel like, what is your image? Like what did you, what would you describe your image as? I would say boho glam. Okay. Boho glam would be the image that I'm trying to portray. Okay, so I know you're located in Tallahassee, Florida. So like as being now. in Tallahassee, what struggles do you think there are? Being like a musician, you know, trying to push your content, like what, you know, issues do you have in a smaller city? Uh, the fact is there's no industry. I mean, no offense, I love my hometown. I love 850, but you <laughs> You gotta be in places like Atlanta, Miami, New York, LA, etc. to be near more opportunities. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I do what I can with the amazing team that I'm working with now, but I'm eventually gonna have to move and I'm very excited. Okay, so this new song you have coming out, Wish You Well, yes. now what's like the inspiration behind that song? You know, a lot of people ask, you know, who is behind it, but there's not really a who. It's just accumulation of past instances not even just relationships, but also friendships that I've gone through, where not everything has to be, not every breakup song has to be angry. Not every breakup has to be something that is dramatic and over the top. Sometimes you just want to let go. Okay. What are your influences? Oh, for influences. Of course, there's other artists such as Prince, Rihanna, Janelle Monet, Shaka Khan, people like that. A lot of also actress performers such as Josephine Baker. I love the goofiness that she combined with the glam and people like Eartha Kitt who just exudes that kind of appeal. But just as inspiration on a broad scale, I try to take situations in life and make them relatable. Something that anybody can listen to and things that people have gone through themselves. And just from a point of view that everybody can listen to and enjoy. What relationship or, you know, experiences with, you know, the male population have you had that maybe have influenced, you know, this energy behind this song? Mostly, believe it or not, you know, when it comes to serious relationships, most of this inspiration was off of like blooming relationships, first dates, where if things don't work out, you don't have to act like you hate that person. Mm -hmm. You just, you know, hey, how you doing? Right. I ain't dating you. <laughs> what beauty stereotypes do you feel like there are currently in the music industry? When it comes to like female artists, do you feel like there's certain looks people gravitate towards more? I think like that in the industry alone, if something gets popular, then mm -hmm. people have a tendency to duplicate it. Yeah. And it's not necessarily a bad thing and like to rank on anybody else. If it works for you, then do your thing but I do feel like maybe there shouldn't be as much if you really want to make it don't be a carbon copy mm -hmm. I know you might like this person and be inspired by somebody but don't try to completely replicate their look try to pick stuff that you like 
from deep down mm -hmm. and try to combine it with what's going on today. Okay. So with your new music that's coming out, I know you have album art coming out and whatnot. You have upcoming oops, photo shoots and whatnot coming out. So what like other projects do you think you may be working on in the future? You know, like maybe music videos? Definitely. Okay. Um, well, the first thing that's coming out is of course Wish You Well. It's my first single. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited, very proud. I hope that you guys like it as much as I feel that, you know, I put into it. Mm -hmm. And so basically pushing that song, music videos, promos, pictures, getting it out there, getting it to the public and seeing how they feel. Okay. So have you ever had like a vocal lessons before or are you yes. just naturally just blessed with this voice? <laughs> it doesn't matter if you can't sing or can sing like Beyonce. If you want to be in the industry, you, vocal lessons are really something that you need to invest in and get into. It's just, it can help so much because you can have the best voice in the world, but you might have issues with a certain part to do a certain song and just having vocal lessons can really expand what you already are working with. Thought about collaborating with other artists? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All I want to do is collaborate. I would love to find some people to work with. I would love to find some people to do music, features, writing. I am a very social person when it comes to art. I love collaborating and seeing what's going on with other people. So if anyone wants to collaborate, I'm here. What is like your biggest fear? My biggest fear is not so much of failing, but not getting the opportunity to try. Because to go out and do something is to get experience. And I love new experiences and new ways to go and do more things, honestly. Mm -hmm. It sounds simple, but really that. I would rather have the opportunity to either succeed or not than to never get the chance. I'm Kanice and I'm gonna give a tiny snippet of what's to come with Wish You Well. You're out of luck and you see the problem is you think you're hurting me by walking away but trust me I'll be okay.